of fishing and I caught one bass. I missed one and I missed another one at another part of the Chaparral Lake and um, this well, well, was a pretty good day of fishing. It was about 97 degrees out, a little bit of cloud cover. Uh, the water was warm so um, and the fish were kind of active. Saw some bait fish going around. So all in all, it was a pretty good day. I lost three Ned rigs and I lost a chatterbait. But uh, check out the video. Hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys out on the water again. Peace out. All right, let's see if we can get something. Okay. Ned rig, Nico, pumpkin seed. Oh, boy. Lots of rain, which has filled this up real good. been so long since I've been fishing. Honey fish, honey fish, fish a fish. Looks like somebody's learning how to fly fish over there. Pretty cool. It's a cool 91 degrees here. And I'm on, boys. Ooh, got a little one. I'm going to eat the go. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, boys. Got a little guy. Yeah. Ooh. Nico Super Ned. All right. I'm not going to be skunked today. Awesome. Awesome. No skunk. No skunk. All right guys, well I just broke off here. So right now I am tying on a new one. Hopefully y'all can see this. You know, believe it or not, this is a um, four pound test line, I think. If I remember correctly.
Jeez Louise, I am all thumbs today. Well. Alrighty. Put the super net on. Now I'm going to try the, I think this is the fusion. There she is. Oop, I think we can do better. There we go. That's better. All right. Let's go fishing. Hopefully I won't get snagged again. Because that sucked. Nico Super Ned. Rig I'm using is a St. Croix 7 medium light power fast action. It's a St. Croix Triumph. So this is mainly my Ned Rig pole. I have super light line on it. I think it's a four pound test. And it's the I forget which line. It's the P line CXX, I think. I can't remember. Snagged up again. Nope. Oh. Well, that was fun. Fish the fish. Name that movie. There is a snag right about here. Always hit. We've had guys that have in this spot. It's pretty much tossed it like right there. Just let it go down. Caught right here by doing this little number because there's a pipe that goes right underneath here as this is usually a pretty good spot a friend of mine caught a four pounder out of here all right we're gonna swap out the fusion for the pumpkin because it seems like that might be what they're interested in Right down the middle. Automobile. Name that movie. Oh, and just so you guys know, this is my Ned Rig box with all of my Nico baits. You got the Super Neds, 
and you've got leeches, craws, helgramites, and then all the necessary jig heads. Sorry for all the mouth breathing, but I am fat, so it's going to happen. Right by the pump. Look at that cast. That is an awesome cast. Fishy, fishy, fish. You know you want the super Ned. Hmm. I don't know if I had a bite or if that was a snag. We're going to go along the lines with the snag. Yeah, when it comes to these city ponds, they don't have a lot of structure on them, so you want to try fishing near pipes, bubblers, if you can feel any kind of structure at the bottom, more than likely that's where the fish are going to be. The ambush points, I mean, you can look at like ledges and coves and things of that nature. You might get in, you might be able to hook into some fish. Like this area here, this is all, this is a big pipe that runs down. And there's a ledge, probably about 10, 15 feet out. You always get snagged on, so it's a good ambush point. At least that's what I've been told. Many tips from many anglers. Ooh, I just saw a flash right there. So flash right along that edge. <laughs> when I walked up here, there was a turtle. That um, showed itself. I'm wondering if what that's what that was. There's that snag right there, that ledge, every time. Probably gonna lose this, Ned. Ah. Yep, it's gone snapped off oh it's two nets let it dangle take a lang take a lang aim that movie
Well, I'm playing with the little bass right now. Some big ones in here. I've caught a three plus. Tons of tilapia in here. Drink alone. Yeah, nobody else. No, I drink alone. Preferably by myself. Green pumpkin always seems the way to go. Although I have caught also a different one over here too. I think I might just have a bit of a nibble there. Maybe not. It's my imagination. Just my imagination. Nothing to it but to hook up another. Hmm. Try this one. Has a bit of a skirt on it. It's weedless. No, no. Might catch something. Mm hmm. See if I tie this one better. I suck at tying knots. Hey, look at that. <clears throat> All right. You know what? Let's do this. Let's try one of these leeches. Let's go. Let's go with a black leech. See how this works out. All right, the leech is on. Okay, I don't like this hook. I don't like it, I don't like the way it's set up, I don't like it. 
sharp as hell, but I don't like it. 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 Damn it, I don't like it. I don't like it. Look, got a little boo boo. Didn't like that hook. Oh lordy. I cannot tie a knot to save my life. There we go. Easiest knot in the world to tie, and I'm and I'm having problems. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand any of this stuff. Oh. <sighs>